So, recently I started getting into digital art, and I'm not particularly good at it, but I do find it to be quite enjoyable. And I'm able to do it all on Linux without any compromises. So in today's video, I just want to talk about doing digital art on Linux right now on the Linux Lounge. So to start today's video off, let's first talk about what hardware I'm using to do digital art. Well, I've actually been using a Surface Pro 3 with a cheap drawing stylus that I bought off Amazon. Yes, I know, Microsoft are gross and icky, but believe it or not, this tablet is actually perfectly supported under Linux, including the touchscreen and the keyboard add-on. The only thing that I couldn't test is the Wi-Fi, since for some reason it was broke when I got the Surface. So, I've just been using a USB dongle, and it works absolutely fine. For the distribution, I've been using Manjaro GNOME, mainly because GNOME supports touchscreen devices really well, and Manjaro has an up-to-date version of the drawing software that I use. As for the drawing software that I use, well, I use Krita. I find that it's easily the best art software on Linux, as well as the best image editing program on Linux, and frankly, it's perfectly capable of matching Photoshop. Pretty much every feature that you would want is here. In fact, the user interface of Krita even looks very much like Photoshop, so it's just all around a brilliant piece of software. And I've got to say, doing digital art with this setup seems to work really well. Everything works exactly as you'd expect, and I even find that features like pressure sensitivity work, which is something that doesn't even seem to work under Windows when using Krita, at least with Surface tablets anyway. I also find that line smoothing and other features in Krita makes drawing really easy and generally very enjoyable. So I have to say, the experience of doing digital art on Linux is absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm not exactly the most qualified person in the world to talk about digital art, but honestly, I think that if you're a digital artist, you could absolutely make the switch to Linux and use Krita if your hardware supports Linux. And considering the fact that Linux does support Wacom tablets and older Surface tablets, I think that most digital art hardware will work just fine under Linux. Now, I'm not the best at drawing by any means, but I think I'll end this video with some doodles that I've made under Linux so you can get an idea for what you can do. So, with that said, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.